I have been over this quite a few times quite a few times but i see we have a, a new audience you know so sometimes you have to go back over things because some people may not know they may be new to the console war and the back and forth between xbox and sony you know all of the feuding all of the fighting all of the knickknack patty whack you know so you have to fill them in and the main reason why jim ryan is so upset pretty much at microsoft xbox game pass this is the reason why because he knows it's going to be very hard to compete once this whole entire deal is final once the call of duty activision deal is final it's it's closed it's signed sealed and delivered and now they own it game pass will be on every game pass platform whether it's on your mobile phone whether it's on pc whether it's on your tablet your tvs and anywhere else anywhere else you can get game pass so that is the fear you know that's why he he's been doing blocking rights for all these years that were just not that's just now servicing now now true all of them all gaming consoles all gaming consoles block game now all of them do it they all have their own first party AAA bangers right but sony decides to take it a step up and lock down ips that's not theirs to do blocking rights that they don't have a right to do but they but they're doing under the table backdoor deals to be greedy and grimy and scheming so they can lock everybody down into a plastic box and lock you down gatekeep and keep you behind this 70 dollar price tag now that's the whole that is the truth and nothing but the truth because by them locking down exclusive games like spider-man they know spider-man have a very huge fan base he have movies he have merch he have games he's part of the avengers so it's like this is a very huge character this is one of the biggest characters in history next to batman and superman and all of the legendary heroes out there but spider-man is one of the biggest and they choose to lock him down because they know you can't go anywhere else but to the playstation platform now now if that ain't anti-consumer i don't know what it is but they're saying they're saying xbox is anti-competitive because they're trying to take away call of duty from playstation platform and that would hurt gaming so you mean to tell me that taking away spider-man from all of the xbox fans that that's not hurting gamers that's not hurting gaming like you have to make it make sense like your argument can't hold up because you're you're taking away a triple a banger a big time one of the biggest superheroes from a platform that that you didn't even create that's not even your ip wolverine final fantasies these are things these are things that you didn't you didn't go specifically to these studios and say hey i'm going to give you the money to create me a new ip these are these are these are things that's already have been created but you want to play pay for the license and lock them down and make them exclusive to your plastic box so that you can force that 70 dollars price tag down everybody's throat because you're greedy and you're grimy and you're shady that's what sony's doing that's what they're doing bro and all of these little fanboys trying to defend whatever jim ryan is doing is right they're all wrong you know it i know it like it's all cap bro there's no way you can be happy about a price hike that's hurting you and every other game around the gaming community you cannot be happy about that and they're gonna blame of course they're gonna blame everything on uncle phil over there at xbox of course they're going to blame xbox oh we have to compete then they're going to blame it on inflation then they're going to say they're going to name everything under the sun but what the real issue is jim ryan get him out of that guy needs to go this is the worst leadership i think i have ever seen that's running playstation brand not the, the company i have an issue with sony the company now see some fanboys you know some of them knew they drop in and they think you're you're aiming towards playstation no i'm a huge fan of playstation 
you know, I'm a huge fan of the AAA bangers, the story-driven AAA bangers. I love PlayStation. I grew up on PlayStation and um, Nintendo and Sega and Xbox. You know, it's not about me actually having smoke with PlayStation. They didn't do anything wrong. It's the company that owns them. Sony, I have a problem with the company because they're not bringing us quality value that we're asking for. And I hear it all the time, man, okay, you're, you're gonna go up on the price of PlayStation. Like, what are we gonna get in return by them doing that? What are we gonna, what are we gonna get in return by them doing that? You know, it just doesn't make sense. What are we going to get in return? PlayStation Plus Premium, you, they don't even care about that. It's just gonna be another PlayStation now that just gets brushed under the rug. They don't wanna do day ones. They don't wanna make a first person shooter to even compete, to even compete with Call of Duty. He said there's no game that can top Call of Duty in the, in the entire gaming industry and we're not going to even try. It's gonna, it's gonna take way too much money. It's gonna take way too long. It's gonna take up to five to seven years to even come close to competing. Well, you better start to get to work then, Jim Ryan. I'm sorry. If it's gonna take you that long, which is I know you're capping. I know you're lying. You're just trying to say that so you can get this deal blocked. Like we all know this guy ain't. <laughs> that dude is a lie and the truth ain't in him. And you know we've been hearing all of this bad news, all of this bad press, Everything has been bad, wrong, and just misguided out here in these gaming streets. Nothing has been going the right way. Nothing's been going right for Jim Ryan. This guy has been tearing, tearing PlayStation down, PS5 down since it came out. After that first year, after that first year run, it's been going downhill. It's been going downhill, bro. It's not fair. It's not fair because we have so many people that is a huge PlayStation fan. A huge PlayStation fan. I'm even a huge PlayStation fan. But I'm not a fanboy. I'm not a Sony pony. You know, it's a difference. Because, see, some people get it mixed up. They're, they're thinking when you say fanboys, they're thinking you're talking about the whole entire fan base. No, 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 no. They're innocent. You have two different groups of fans out here. You got the good group like us, the fans of PlayStation, and then you have the fanboys, the toxic ones, the ones, the ones that stand behind Jim Ryan when he's just doing everything wrong and they're telling him that he's doing everything right. Those are the Sony ponies. Those are the toxic ones that just, they just make everything so aggravating to keep boosting Jim Ryan up, to going down this wrong path that he's going down and he's destroying the brand name. He's hollering and crying. He's making, he's just embarrassing himself right now. Flat out embarrassing himself. Every time I turn around, this dude is doing something stupid and dumb and ignorant. And then you have the fanboys standing behind him. Oh yeah, keep doing it Jim right now. I'm trying to warn, I'm trying to think like, are y'all that brainwashed? to the AAA bangers that you can't see the truth. Like we really we really want to know honestly like like just the regular gaming community, the people that that's actually have knowledge and smart and intelligent. They want to know what do the fanboys do you really feel like Jim Ryan cares about you? Do you really feel like Sony cares about you? Like or or are you just brainwashed from the AAA bangers? So, so that's what we want to know. That's what we want to know. Are you brainwashed or do you really know what's going on? Like, are you really here in reality or are you thinking like, are you, or your mind is in space? Because definitely it, it cannot be on earth. If you, if you think this man is running PlayStation the right way and you are standing behind somebody that is that toxic, just delusional, Making up hallucinating. This Decepticon does not care about you. You gotta understand you have to cross over to the good side, man. You right now you're playing for the wrong team. You know, you can't you can't stand behind somebody in bad leadership, right or wrong. It don't matter how many generations they have conquered, how many times they have dominated a generation after generation after generation. But PS5 versus Xbox. The new Xbox, PC, and Nintendo, this is a totally different generation. 
you can't live off of ps4 hype anymore you know you gotta you gotta kind of dead that that's that's over with they're focusing on you heard them itself we they believe in generations right why do you think they're leaving their old vrs behind because they, they're trying to lock you down again into something that you're just like man you know we are we we're going to go back down the same path again like the next you're going to wait till like vr5 before you do backwards compatible again say oh well now we fixed it we fixed it, it ain't buggy anymore we can we have so much technology now we can bring all of your old games over to the new vr you know kind of like what they did with ps5 so ps5 is pretty took took forever to do backwards compatible how long how long have xbox been doing that They've been doing it for a very, very long time. And, and, and you know, being that anti-consumer and you're trying to lock down people to the $70 price tag, that's not helping. And we already know, we already know you're scared, Jim. Jim Ryan, we, we, we know Lion Jim Ryan is scared of Uncle Phil and Xbox Game Pass day ones that's on the way in 2023. We know he's scared. We know it. Like, like you can just see it, bro, in all of the blogs and vlogs. He's saying it's anti-competitive, it's inadequate. How, okay, what part of trying to bring value is inadequate and hurting gamers if long as you're into the Xbox ecosystem game pass, which is mobiles, mobile phone, PC, tablets, televisions now if you have a capable tv that have apps on it gaming apps like game pass and more mostly i think simpson i don't know if lgs are going to do it i definitely don't think sony tvs are going to do it but that could be another way that cloud gaming could kind of appear on tvs from sony in sony can bring out a playstation live screen gaming app will they do it in the future who knows who knows how anti-consumer they are right now, bro. I really don't know. You know, I just like to try to bring value to all of the newcomers and people that may have missed what's been going on between pretty much PlayStation, pretty much, excuse me, pretty much Sony, the 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 company that's running their brand, that's destroying their brand, PlayStation, single-handedly, Jim Ryan. They're pretty much going at it with Phil Spencer and Xbox Game Pass. That's that's what all of this console war is over now. That's why everything blew blew out of control because Jim Ryan can't contain himself. He has his panties in a bunch right now. And because he can dish it and he can't take it, he's mad at Uncle Phil over there at Xbox. Like he's in his feelings. Like he's literally in his feelings. Like he had a bad breakup or something. I don't know. I don't know what he has going on. Maybe he has some mental issues. Maybe he have personal problems and he bring it to work. You know how everybody, you can you can be the best worker in the world, right? You can be the best worker, intelligent, smart, kind-hearted, loving person. And you always go to work. You wake up every day to go to your nine to five job. You always go to work and it's always a group of people that just don't like you for no apparent reason. That's Jim Ryan. <laughs> That's him. He just don't like Phil for no, he look at Phil, he cannot stand the ground. <laughs> Phil Spencer walk on because he is so cool and laid back, sipping on his Kool-Aid. And, and, and Jim Ryan just cannot take it. He cannot take it. It's that thing that just really, really irritates you. You know that pet pee that you have? That's 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 game pass. Jim Ryan cannot take it. It's just like a cat scratching a chalkboard constantly constantly irritating your ears you got ear an uh, ear infection that's what game pass is to jim ryan and that's why he is crying like this like a little baby get that man a pacifier please and it's and it's just sickening to sit back and watch and not do anything or say anything to the gaming community and just let them be blinded by all of the corruption going on over there at sony no one is saying anything into the content creators had came out and said and that's why i'm proud of them for stepping up for actually saying something and bringing it to everybody's attention like yeah we're gonna stand behind xbox and xbox game pass because what jim ryan is doing is wrong and i'm a fan of of playstation i'm not a fan of sony the company so 
I'm not biased here. I'm not. I'm not choosing sides and saying, yo, you know, I feel like you know, uh, PlayStation is better than Xbox or Xbox is better than PlayStation or Nintendo. I'm not saying. I'm not. I'm a gamer. I'm just a casual gamer that love the gaming community. I'm a proud. I'm proud to be in this generation and, and have lived to see this era because this is one of the best errors in gaming and the worst at the same time because of Jim Ryan. So it's like bittersweet, you know. It's like a scale. It's like it's like uh, it's kind of good on some ends, and then it's uh, it's kind of shaky on that end, and it's just really just oh man, it's just all over the place right now. I don't even know the direction that Sony wants to go in due to the fact that Jim Ryan is so corrupted up there at Sony, and Sony just I don't know if they're making him do this. Or is he trying to keep his job by being more greedy because of all the losses and all of the L's that Sony have been taking? Because if you remember, they have been getting sued left and right all year long. And then they took another big L when they bought, when, excuse me, when they had announced the whole Call of Duty Activision Blizzard deal. Sony have lost $20 billion on that deal right there. Once it was just announced, Xbox didn't even buy it yet. And all the stock stockholders and shareholders and all the big billionaires and trillionaires they pulled out their stocks they pulled away from Sony and half of them probably already went to Xbox truth be told so they're probably standing behind Xbox as well like yo I really don't want Sony to mess up this deal because if they mess this deal up they're messing up our money and then they're probably gonna come after Sony and start suing them again so they may want to chill because a lot of money and billionaires are are mixed up and tied up into this whole entire you know call of duty activision blizzard deal. a lot of money is tied up into this deal right here and they're spending all of these millions of dollars trying to stop the deal when they can be focusing on making more games for ps5 and moving forward and pc since obviously they really don't believe in generations they love cash grabs remaking games they're, they're doing everything that we're not asking for as the gamers i'm not talking about the fanboys because they're dumb they're ignorant i don't even i don't even acknowledge them because they're so they're so stupid like it's just a group of dumb ignorant people in the corner and then you have the rest of us like just trying to block them out and ignoring them and i know they feel a little lonely i know it gets lonely over there in the corner but stop learn how to act Learn how to act. You're going to get punished every time. We're just going to keep ignoring you over there in the corner looking sick like a little sick puppy. <laughs> We're not, we don't have time for the stupidness, man. We're trying to get back to gaming and focus on bringing back the gaming community. So I don't have time to argue with ignorant, stupid people that standing behind Jim Ryan, dirty deeds. And I'm going to leave it right there, guys. You guys already know what to do, man. Make sure you smash that like, that subscribe button. Click that notification bell so you guys can be notified on all of the new latest and greatest news off in these gaming streets. And if you would love to jump into the PlayStation Plus premium ecosystem on your PC, if you have a PC or a laptop, you can download the PlayStation app in the link in the description or you can jump into the xbox game pass ultimate and you can jump into that ecosystem as well on your pcs only if you have a pc peace